Elementalist is a tough profession to play. Low HP pool, low armor, and for some reason they keep pushing us into melee. This video is for you then. Here are seven ways to play the Elementalist better. Let's get into it. First way to play better is to realize that the strength of the Elementalist is sustain and elusiveness. Having access to a heal skill as well as water attunement means you can pump out some serious heals. And earth attunement usually offers some type of strong defensive that'll assist in surviving damage. Paired with a few utility skills that provide mobility, repositioning, and even an invulnerability, you'll be set to handle anything that Tyria throws your way. Remember, play to the strength of the Elementalist. Don't fight against it. The second way you can play better is to understand that just about every weapon in the Elementalist toolkit is hybrid and thus can benefit from all stats. For example, Hammer Catalyst functions amazingly as a pure power, but it still applies a lot of burning and bleeds. When building out your Elementalist, Celestial stats are always a fantastic choice, as improving all attributes for the Ellie is incredibly beneficial. Pro tip, one of the most popular healing abilities is Signet of Restoration, which heals per cast, but did you know that you can cast without a target? Spamming any ability will heal you consistently, even if it hits nothing. Keep swinging away. The third way to help avoid downstate is actually going to focus on conjured weapons. Conjured weapons are included in most meta builds today in some fashion. Something you may not have noticed is that when you conjure a weapon, there is an extra one that spawns at your cursor. Both last for 30 seconds and then disappear. But did you know that you can extend your uptime to nearly a minute? During the last few seconds of your duration of the conjured weapon that you get in your hand, you can pick up the spawn one to refresh its entire duration. Pretty cool to maximize uptime. Now this also goes without saying, if you're playing in any type of group content, you might actually run into allies who pick up the weapon and there goes your uptime. Keep that in mind. Kind of a sub tip here, you can still utilize skills and attunement swap while wielding a conjured weapon. However, if you go into anything that transforms you, so i.e. mist form, you will drop your conjured weapon. The fourth improvement is centered around combo fields. Auras are basically baked into the elementalist, with most weapon abilities granting them on demand. An easy way to maximize your aura generation is to learn what combo finishers you have and when to use them. Whenever there is some type of field on the ground, utilize a finisher like Ground Pound from the Catalyst and you'll generate an aura corresponding to the attunement that you are in. Also, some weapons of the Elementalist can transmute on demand, which will generate that aura. The fifth improvement is learning your piano keys. The Elementalist is notorious for having a fairly complex rotation for PvE and PvP, and it's very punishing if you mess up. Elementalists have 20 weapon skills at their disposal, give or take, and you have to learn them all and remember exactly what they are and when to use them. Practice, practice, practice. This becomes even more important when considering some abilities create combos and others are finishers, but they're not in the same attunement. Last quick pro tip, your lightning flash ability does not have a cast time, meaning that you can utilize it literally during any animation that you're doing. Teleport while casting a crowd control ability, or reposition to land a damaging ability. The sixth way to play an elementalist better is by understanding their weaknesses. First and foremost, elementalists are incredibly squishy because of the low HP and the low armor. Crowd controls like stuns and knockdowns are your worst enemy as you cannot defend yourself and you can easily get chunked or downstated. Next, because you have a little HP pool, condition damage isn't any better for you. A few ticks of a powerful condition can be your demise. Keep that water attunement handy to cleanse. Lastly, movement hampering effects are terrible for Ellie's as speed and mobility are your strengths. Removing that mobility by crippling or immobilizing makes you an easy target to get deleted. Again, bring those cleanses. Lastly, the most important way to improve your elementalist gameplay is going to be honing in on what type of battle mage you want to be. Core elementalist is fairly balanced and is typically a slower pace when compared to its elite specializations. The Tempest can thrive as a DPS or even a powerful support, one of the most powerful supports right now. Weaver is fantastically challenging by combining elements for devastating effects, while the Catalyst brings brute force to bear with incredible strike damage. The Elementalist literally has a playstyle for all, and it is one of the most satisfying professions to play. Figure out which Elementalist you want to be. This video here will help you get started with the Hammer Catalyst in PvP. Start swinging! Stay caffeinated, folks.